Okay, so you're going to go ahead and start a new composition. 1080 by 1920 is fine, and then a black background. Go ahead and get rid of all that stuff, those little pop-ups. And then head to Layer, New, Solid, and you want the color to be black. Then you're going to go over to your effects and search Fractal Noise. Go ahead and drag that on your shape. And then you'll head into the Transform drop-down menu. Uncheck Uniform Scaling and change the scale width to 10,000. And then you'll go to Offset Turbulence. You can look at this in that menu up there or within your keyframe section. That way you can see where all the keyframes are because we're going to be wanting to keyframe this effect. Go ahead and find the transform. So keyframe it at the beginning at 960 and 540 for offset turbulence. And then keyframe again and have it at 960 comma 1070. You can go ahead and see what that looks like. And then we'll go ahead and add a noise effect. Just the regular one. You don't want any of those, you just want the regular noise that's under the fractal noise. Yep. And then you'll want to change the amount of noise to 20%, or 70%, my bad. And then you'll want to add the Venetian blinds effect. And change the transition completion to 20%. And your feather to 5 And then you're going to go ahead and duplicate this layer. And then we're going to edit the top layer and we're going to change the offset turbulence on this one. And that's in your fractal noise transform. You're going to want it to be about 960 Lower than 540 probably, or around that. I went ahead and did 430. And now I messed up and had the keyframe at the wrong spot, so you're going to want to make sure that your keyframe is the same time as it is on the layer below. So I went ahead and just edited that keyframe. Back to where I had it. And then you're going to go ahead, you can close all that just to clean it up. And then you're going to want to add an overlay. So you'll go to right click, blending mode, overlay. And there you are. Watch it a couple times so it loads correctly. And you have your TV static.